Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play A Nightmare on Elm Street. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, so now that I got three keys, well, technically it's the third key, I suppose the keys I pick up are used. I just gotta remember what house I did not go to at the time. It's gonna be hard to keep track of, to be honest with you. But at least now that I have all three transformations, my abilities to fight back in the dream world are not limited at all. Okay, it's not in the high school. Didn't I see another house that had its doors boarded to a degree? So maybe that's where I need to go. And Elm Street needs to fix up is a spike issue. Okay, it's not this house. Ow! Just took a spike to the ass. I'm sure there are laws against that in Elm Street. Or bylaws, rather. As well as just random falling rocks. I'm pretty sure they banned that. You know, if you're not allowed to throw rocks over an overpass, maybe you shouldn't throw ro rocks from the heavens, just randomly on the street. Oh god, snakes. Oh, the junkyard we gotta go to next. I don't remember the junkyard looking like this. Why are they just random spikes? Oop, okay, I'm, I'll just base through the platforms that didn't jump high enough. That's fair. Oh wow, these guys don't give a shit whatsoever. Double kill, oh my god. Coffee! Gotta get my coffee fixed, man. I'll punch a random bloke in the face just to get a nice cup of joe. And I'm not talking about Samoa Joe either. You don't want to come with that guy. He, he brutalize you. Oh, sometimes these guys take two hits to die. Are they really zombies? Because if this is not the dreamland, are they actually people? Okay, this bone's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. Case in point! How the hell was I supposed to clear that? I don't think you can kill bars of spikes, I'm just saying. That guy just spawned. Oh, some of these... Wow. Some of these bones are actually well hidden. Right in the piles of cars. Ugh! Oh. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to clear this jump? Okay. I mean, look at these bones. You can hardly see them. Yeah, I'll risk getting impaled in the head for a cup of coffee. But Red Bull, man, I'll just leave that shit alone. Why is there, like, two cups of coffee right next to each other? Did I just punch a knife? I think I just punched a knife. I'm just saying, that that's probably not the safest thing to do in a junkyard. You know, we'll just we'll just get some tetanus. Uh, no big deal, right? I'm sure you can get much worse in Elm Street, like get killed. Don't know what that was. Looks like a new transformation. Ah, oh, well, that was dumb. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I'm missing a bone, aren't I? How the hell do you clear that part? Bone's just gonna... I mean, the rock is just gonna fall at a pretty fast pace anyway. Where did I miss a bone to? I thought I got them all lately. Okay, how do you clear that, really? Do they give you enough time? Where is it? I'm gonna feel like an idiot now. Cause I bet you it was in a very obvious spot. Like, if it was back at the start, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause that's the second time I got thwarted by that.
Okay, maybe that was not the best laid out plan. Whoa, okay, that was bull. Don't just spawn a random skeleton right then and there. When I have no way to prepare for that. Okay, where did I miss the bone? Can I just, like, kill a skeleton and get a whole bunch of bones? Well, I guess they're not Freddy bones, so they don't count. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, would the game really notice the difference? Just saying. I just got knocked into spikes. What a double whammy. Oh my god. It was all the way back at the beginning of the level. So now I had to go all the way back to the end of the level. That is just horse honky right there. Some of those bones actually are very well hidden. I mean, at least it doesn't make the game too easy. Trust me, this game is not easy. And, you know, maybe they shouldn't, like, make the game artificially difficult by just spawning enemies randomly. Like, intermittently. Oh god, that music's playing. He's coming. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the end of that point. He's gonna catch me, I just know it. So I might as well just accept fate. Yeah, Freddy's trademark coming. At least you can kill the hands that he leaves behind. Oh wow, I, actually you can do a jump kick. So I think it's best to be close to him when he's about to claw swipe. Because that's what he jumps right away. At least his attack pattern is predictable. So, if you look at it that way, the easiest part of the game is actually Freddy. Did that go through that enemy? I was not prepared for that. Okay, I was right next to the boss. Oh god. Look at this pet! It's got a long ass nose. And it keeps spawning little bats too. Oh, well, I guess they're not little, but they're regular sized bats. Okay, so you can avoid getting hit if that guy has invincibility frames going up. I hit B button and nothing happened. I didn't think I had that long of a reaction time between attacks. Okay, is he going faster? He's going faster, isn't he? Oh my god. Oh, come on! Can't catch a break. There. I don't know how many continues I have left. Do I have three continues or five continues? I'm getting a little worried now, seeing as how I used up two. So where do I gotta go next? The cemetery. All right. Well, I guess you can't expect zombies here. At least this is an outdoor area. I don't know if you can consider the dump an outdoor area, too. Oh, God! They were spawning right from the gravestone. Yeah, that that's a good sign that that uh, grave is diseased if flies are just popping out of it. A nice little mental image. 
Um, I don't think someone should be buried, like, right there. Yeah, that grave has probably fallen into the ocean right now. You know, natural erosion and shit. Oh! That is cheap! Just spawn an enemy or a projectile right there. Well. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. It's just a matter of actually doing it. You have to get on the bubble, but don't stay on it for too long because it'll pop. <laughs> they're, they're just going in the water like a bunch of idiots. I'm just gonna let that one go right over me. Okay, no sense to punch them because they're immune. Just wait for them to pass by. There you go. You don't have to fight everything. Sometimes it's better not to fight everything. I just gotta wait for the bubble. I don't think I missed any bones, which is good. Oh no. Oh, he managed to hit me anyway. Oh, got another one. Just go. Just go. What is this? Is this a mausoleum or something? Oh god, a ghost? So basically the bat boss again. Only difference is there's, well, ghosts. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, spawn one right on top of my head. That's an LGN game for ya. <laughs> this guy can have like two of these ghosts at a time. Oh my god! I keep dying to the damn ghosts! I gotta start using my jump kick more- oh yeah. Bullshit much? That time the jump kick did not work. Yeah, he hit me from behind. Thank you! Oh my god, I am so getting toast. Okay, there's no other places to go from the right of me. So obviously, process of elimination says go left. It's this mansion next. God, spiders at. Wow! I didn't think they put in three drops in a row. Okay, four drops. That was BS! How do you prepare for that? Uh, okay. I can see why this game is so scary. Because it's a little unpolished. It's not terrible, but it certainly has its quirks. Many of which are not very good. At least this game doesn't make you start over from scratch whenever you, uh, lose your lives. Or at least start from the beginning of the street. And you had to work your way back, even if your progress is still saved. Okay, that, that was dumb. Enemy placement is not exactly in the most ideal of positions, I'm just saying. Well, it's gonna get far less ideal now. Did I just make that skeleton go faster? You don't just go that way, I don't care. 
Okay, I wonder if there was like a bone like up there. Bet you there is. Nope, it's actually down. A little easier to get to. I think when I first played this game, this was actually the first house I went through. So now it's suddenly fourth or fifth. Okay, some of them I couldn't actually hit at all. I'm just gonna have to accept this death. Oh, it's a game over. Oh no. I had to do all that again. Alright, so I'm just gonna meet you right where I left off, okay? Time out, everyone. Alright, several minutes later, I made it back to this point of the game. Like, this is literally the fifth or sixth place I have visited. Can't seem to remember. But it was in the exact same sequence as before. So I didn't get to do anything out of sequence compared to what we did earlier. Not a fan of those uh, low-flying bats, not gonna lie. Then again, I'm not a fan of any bats in this game. <laughs> or any game. Unless I'm playing baseball, then the bats I'm using are pretty good. That I'm good with. Okay, I'm not going to assume that spider just does not die. Well, it looks like I'm making more progress than before. So now I just need to get the last few bones. And I assume... Whoa, okay. That skeleton did not want to give it up. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to take a dumb hit there. It looked like I hit it. Oh. Could you imagine if it was the knife that killed me? And I got... Hurled... What? And I got hurled up into it. Hit detection on those bats. Not as ideal as I'd like. i like for them to actually hit. Just saying. Hey, where am I going? I have all the bones. Hmm. Oh, okay. For some reason, I have to go back to being myself. Don't know why that didn't work when I was transformed as other people. That made no sense. Oh, come on. Are you gonna, like, camp over here? Uh-oh. It's time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's as low-bearing as it gets. Okay, at least make this platform and... I think we're safe. Just hung on by a thread. I thought Freddy was gonna get me. Oh, I thought I could just stay as a ninja the whole time. That'd have been great. And possibly a little bit broken. Should not have done that. I'm able to, like, whoa. No, no. Oh, I should not have done that. I hate that whenever I get hit, it's usually right next to a pitfall. So, of course, recoil is going to get me killed. Jeez, I could have done it right there, too. Okay, where are the last two bones? Better be nearby. Well, there's one. Oh, okay. I thought I could just go down or later on. Nope, you have to do it right at the start. Where are those spiders landing from, anyway? Now, clearly, if the spiders can land somewhere just to jump up, why can't I just land there myself? It seems they were able to get back up just fine. 
so I don't know what's the problem with that game. Alright, now we can actually continue. Jeez, I gotta get 12 bones over here too? Can you imagine if the total amount of bones wow, that you get in this game equals 108? You can tell this game definitely put a lot of thought into it if it is. Oh, there's the coffee. Don't think I'm gonna make it in time, but wishful thinking, I suppose, and I'm way too late. Please tell me that's gonna turn Oh, it does turn into a stereo. Okay, so I'll just drink the stereo. That'll work. Just tip the stereo over, put a little bit of cream and sugar into it. That'll go over well. You gotta admit, that is the dumbest thing to happen. Why did a zombie spawn through a piece of wood? Explain that to me. Because there's no logic behind that. In fact, that happened again. Where are they coming from? I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Okay, we're almost made it to the, the end of this part. This is actually a very long mansion, I must say. What is this, like the fourth sub area? At least I have full continues this time. So if I were to uh, game over here or lose all my lives, I'll be fine. Oh, just put bats everywhere, why don't ya? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back, because I'm not gonna be able to get that uh, bone from the other side. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna move, because I'm worried it'll just spawn right in front of me over nothing. God, these bats are in the worst spot. How many of them were overlapping each other? It looked like there was more than one in the same position. That freaks me out. <laughs> oh, the low ceiling got me. That you just poke right between that and the platform. Okay, we finally made it to the boss. I think the ninja is still very good. Wait a minute. Do I have to fight two bosses? The head and a hand? Okay. For some reason the hand took no damage. <sighs> Sometimes you're just in an unwinnable position. Okay, I'm noticing that the hand, the head is like dripping blood. So obviously, be careful for that. Did that kick fail because I turned, even though it didn't look like I did? Okay, I can see myself losing a lot of lives here. Okay, the hand is gone. So all that's left is the head. Looks so smarmy too, just look at that smirk! Not that it's got much to smirk about now, because I'm pretty much Bruce Leeing this guy. Could you imagine a, a horror flick if Bruce Lee was still alive and he was just karate kicking serial killers or zombies? I don't know if I'd buy into that. Okay, so we literally have one place left to go, and that's the school. I, I heard this somewhere in a Twitch stream or a Smashcast stream, but apparently, like, it was a missed opportunity to not call Freddy vs. Jason Freddy the 13th. And I totally believe that. I didn't want to get that, by the way. Okay, I, 
I gotta find the timing for this. That was not it. <laughs> I hit the jump button. I don't know what the game is talking about there. Just say, oh no, you didn't jump. What are you talking about? Okay, how the hell am I supposed to make this jump? It's leap of faith time. What the frick? That's better. Oh my god. I lost that many lives doing that one jump. Okay, I see some bones down there too. Okay, it looks like part of the stairwell just clipped away. That was cheap. Hopefully there's no more bones on the bottom part. Because I'd hate to go back again. Oh my god, I do have to go back again for one bone. Is somehow one bone the only thing that's keeping Freddy Krueger alive in this world? Is it really going to take just one bone to do that? Oh, God. Can't say I'm a fan of this part. Ah, oh, you ass! Thank you for spawning me right there on that side. Okay, I've gone through like... What, this is my second continue that I used. Okay, so now it's crunch time. Literally. Oh, it's gonna suck if I run out of lives here. Also, why does the high school have to look like this? Why does this place have a green liquid problem too? Or gray liquid? Why did I say green? I don't think there's anything green in this game besides the background right now. And it's not even a good green at all. It's puke green. Nobody likes puke green. Not even puke. Okay, it looks like a leap for this one. Yeah! Good thing my forehead is able to grab things. I was a bit worried it wouldn't. to fight that guy. Oh god, they got bones over here too. Uh. Okay, how am I gonna make it through this part safely? Oh man, I thought I was just gonna stay down. Oh no. Well, at least I can take advantage of this. What? That thin and I was able to fall through everything. That is just bull. Oh my god. This game has it out to get me. Okay, I didn't think I was going to make it there. Oh good, a stereo. I'm going to try my best to save it, though. Okay, now we'll go. If I can try to stretch out its usefulness, I will. Could you imagine if you were making a dive kick on an enemy, you grab the stereo, and all of a sudden it's not there? so you never get to hit it, and you get hit instead. That would be a terrible thing to actually have happen. You know what? I might as well just kill this guy. Because I don't think he'll come back. Like, where is he going to spawn from, really? A locker? Really? Really? I don't think this guy can even die. Ooh, wow. You have to be pixel perfect for that jump. Okay, looks like I'm safe standing here. 
Who arranges the lockers like this, anyway? I feel bad for people that need ladders just to get to their belongings. Jeez. Oh god, it literally is raining men. Yay, delicious coffee. Delicious bat murder. Man, at this point in the game, it's not Freddy that's gonna kill me, but caffeine overdoses at will. Oh, that bo bone just spawned, all right. I'd imagine this is what the basement of the high school actually looks like. You know, just bottomless pits. Giant rats. Yeah, that's normal. That's what happens when you make cuts in a public education. All of a sudden, basements no longer are parts of the floor anymore. Okay, that was just random. But it looked like a zombie was just about to come from that hole. Oh god, there's fire. I think I know the significance of the fire, though. We have to get the last bit of the bones. Wait a minute. Is there literally a bone over a bottomless pit? I think I'm supposed to come here once I get the last ones. Oh, here we go. Uh, please tell me I'm still gonna jump right. Yes, okay. Oh, okay, I see how I'm gonna get that bone now. I'll just be someone that has the highest amount of jump. There we go. That, but okay. I was thinking, why is that platform even there? No! Not here! Apparently you cannot transform while you're ducking. Good to know they put that in. That was very important. Okay, I think this is the last bone. Oh no! Oh wait, I still have another continue. I thought I was on my last one. Okay, get rid of you. And you! Oh, how fitting. Just when I'm about to reach the fire. Just go. Is this the final battle? No, this is a boss rush! will be the wizard for this. Hmm. I wonder if for this fight you get to stay woke the whole time. Again. Oh god, he's almost dead already. Come on. Thank you. It is annoying you have to go through like every single boss again. I am noticing that it has significantly less health. 
if you had to go through like all of them anyway, I guess that's a good thing. Especially when you're on the last stretch. Alright, we're close. If we're at the boss rush, clearly we're very close. Do I have to fight all the bosses? I think so. They're just a little easier to kill this time. Granted, the bat still sucks. Wow. Landed right on him. Why could I be Mario? That would have been the kill shot right there. Instead, I'll just have to do dive kicks on it. And now I gotta deal with the ghost again. I think the ghost is definitely the worst of the bosses so far. Because it can have like two minions in play. If you're lucky, you'll get him with a hit the boss with the dive kick as well as the ghost. Maybe this one's only allowing one this time. Nope, he was definitely uh, spawning a little too fast. There, okay, three lives left. And now it's the hand and the head. Maybe I can get both of them with one kick. Wow, he only needed one hit to kill me. I didn't think I was that close to death from the previous fight. I'm guessing my kicks do so little compared to my ninja stars. God, neither of them are gonna die. Okay, the hand is dead. Oh, they were both one hit away each. Oh God, he's attacking when he's already overlapping me. Okay. I just gotta whittle him down. Well, there's the furnace I just throw the bones, apparently. Oh god, he changed movement pattern. And there we go, I think I did it on my last life. You can only throw one bone at a time, apparently. Because being able to carry two at once doesn't work. So, the evil is purged. Fire purifies all. The bones are ashes, soon to be dust. Freddy trademark is dead, and the nightmare is ended. Shouldn't say the nightmare has ended. Or has it? And that's it! That's A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES! Wow! I can see why this game is pretty hard. Because a lot of things can go wrong while you're playing it. What do I think about this game overall? Again, very challenging, but not cheap to the point it just stunts your progress. I don't see why there's a point of a continue system if you're able to continue where you left off anyway. Plus you get to keep all your stuff. So it seems a little bit shallow to me, but I guess it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Maybe they can't allow you to have double digit amount of lives. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.